Hi, Lawrence Moroni here. I'm in the Coffee with a Googler stage and I'm going to be chatting with Jason Titus. He's the lead of the developer product group at Google and he had so many great announcements for developers at the keynote yesterday. So Jason, welcome. Thanks for joining us. Glad to be here. So what kind of feedback have you been hearing from developers? What's been exciting? Uh, it's been, been pretty cool. It seemed like folks were really excited about uh, the new things in Android Studio where right. we're now supporting C++. That was pretty cool. That's, uh, you know, a lot of folks have been doing uh, native development kit work for a while and they, they really wanted to be able to have that support. So that, cool. that's a big step. Um, we also, we made uh, cloud messaging cross-platform. So now you can use it right. not just on Android and Chrome, but also yeah. on iOS. Yeah. And uh, people seem pretty excited about that. And we um, added topics to that as well, right? Yeah, so, so now, it, it's a, it's a great way, essentially, in, with topics and cloud messaging, you can just, without having to manage and track all the different users that follow specific things, mm -hmm. you can just on the client say, for an arbitrary topic that you create, like, you know, I'm interested in the San Francisco Giants or something like that, you can subscribe the client, and that can be happening across all your users, and later on you just do a single push notification, right. say, new, new information about San Francisco Giants, and it fans out to all of them nice. across platform without you having to do any yeah. sort of management. And that's Android, iOS, and web. Uh, right. Yeah. So yeah. And one of the neat things about GCM or Google Cloud Messaging is like if you've got multiple devices, right? That yeah. if you dismiss the notification on one, it can be dismissed on all of them. Yeah. So you, you don't have that kind of clutter on your notification tray. Yeah. It's pretty cool, right? So and it's a, and it's a free for developers, right? Yeah. As well. So and and uh, probably the other thing that got the most excitement was around uh, our cloud test lab. Oh yeah. So uh, you know we we recognize that there's a lot of developers are having problems going. Hey, there's all these different devices. I don't have access to all of them. I want to be able to test my stuff. How do I do that? Uh, and so we're get, we're going to be rolling something out uh, that actually let, allows you to just upload your APK and we'll run it uh, across the top 20 devices from around the world and give you a report saying like. Hey, if we run into any issues, here's a screen video of how we got there. Here's crash logs of what happened. Right. Um, and so you can very quickly know whether or not you have any issues. That's pretty cool. I'm looking forward to trying that one out because yeah, it, it can be difficult to try on different devices. Or if you live in a country or a device isn't available, right, then you, yeah. can, uh, you can use the Cloud Lab for that. So that's pretty cool. Also, Polymer. Polymer. Yeah. Was, you know, Polymer 1.0 was announced yeah, yesterday. Yeah, I think uh, folks, we did both Polymer 1.0 and then Elements on top of it. So you can right. actually get. Libraries where, you know, with a simple, uh, just insert an element, you can have a map, charts, you know, toolbars, menus, a bunch of stuff. I, I think people will start making some pretty nice web apps based on that. Cool, that should be good. Now, with all these, like, little bits and pieces, there's, like, great releases here and great releases there, but this all must be part of some bigger picture to make developers' lives yeah. easier? So, you know, our, our whole, the, the point of our group and what, what we're looking at across the company is, how do we make it easier for developers to get up and running? How do we make it, how do we solve problems that developers actually have? Uh, you know, I have actually only been at Google a little bit more than a year. Okay. And, Same as me. <laughs> uh, so, you know, before that I was at Shazam. Uh, oh, okay. And so I spent three and a half years like banging my head against the wall and and kind of fighting all the things you have to do to try and you know get, get an app built and successful across uh, different markets. And uh, I think. We're doing a bunch of things already across the things we're doing in the Play Store to let you A-B test listings, right. making the developer tools better like on Android Studio, uh, on iOS releasing, uh, moving to CocoaPods to make of using course, our libraries yeah. better. Right. These are all just about saying, how do we make it so when you have an idea mm -hmm. or something that you want to build that it's easier to do it with, with our stuff. Uh, and this is just the beginning. I think what, what people should recognize is this is the first round of just making it faster, better, easier, uh, okay. and you, you'll see a lot more okay. in the future. Nice, and one of the themes that you had in your keynote, mm -hmm. and we've seen it in a lot of the talks, is really thinking for developers to, you know, this, this tent pole of developing, engaging, and earning, right? Mm -hmm. so, and that, that in many ways is the, the workflow for a developer. Yeah. You have your idea, and if you have your idea, you want to be able to express that. And yeah. we, What kind of things are we doing to help them express that, to help them to so, learn? And, you know, for, on the develop front, you know, it's how do we make it easy for you to build your code, like with development tools like Android Studio. Right. How do we make it easy for you to sign up for anything you need to use? Uh, we have a, a new flow to sign up for analytics and and okay. uh, and messaging and all that that we think gets rid of a lot of that the pain there. Uh, and then you know, we redid the entire uh, Google developers.google.com site. I, I think it should, hopefully folks will find it much more useful. I see that uh, just easier. launched, right? Yeah, so. so that just came out, and yeah. that's a redesign of the entire site. So that's all things around how to make it easier to develop. Okay. You know, on the engaged side, you know, we're recognizing that folks really they want to get new users. You got, you got your app done. 
you upload it to the store, like how am I going to actually uh, find folks? And so, you know, both making it easier on the Play Store to try and find the best way to pitch it, like how do you describe the app, try two or three different uh, t you know, text and for your listing, try different icons, see what, what works best. Uh, you know, giving you the ability, once somebody's installed your app, make it really easy to message with them and do notifications. Uh, and then, you know, for folks who actually want to start buying app install ads and try and buy distribution, uh, I think maybe it's been harder than it should have been with us. <laughs> yeah. And so we're, we're starting the process of giving you, like, here's a single place you can go. It'll be in the Google, Google Play Developer Console. You can buy across all of Google. You just say, I'm willing to spend yep. 200 bucks a month, and it's, I'll pay this, you know, amount yeah. per install. And we'll just do it, set, set up the campaign for you. Cool. Uh, and I think that's the kind of thing you should expect to see more of from us. It's just ways to make it easier, mm -hmm. fewer knobs and dials, more straight right. straight to the, the meat of the, uh, the things you Sounds need done. Good. And, and, and for engaging, there was one technology that I really enjoyed is the um, app invites. Yeah. If you're familiar, because like, yeah. for me, we had a talk about it yesterday. And one that is like, you know, I discover most apps from friends. Like, right. you know, was, Magnus was my co-speaker and, you know, he sends me all these crazy hockey apps and my son sends me all these games. And when yeah. you've got friends sending you apps that you can trust, and then the app invite technology is really good yeah, to it, so that, And that came out of saying, you know, what are the main things developers are, are trying to do? Uh, you know, we see again and again and again, developers build invite flows. And yeah. they're, you know, it's like, okay, hey, how are we going to get it? You know, most app installs are happening from word of mouth. Yeah. How are we going to do that? Oh, we'll build an app invite flow. Um, but it turns out that we actually have a bunch of data that we can use to make it more useful for a particular user. Right. Like, if, you're, if you use Google services, we have a better sense of across your, a th your thousand contacts who are the ones you actually communicate with, and we can sort of bubble those to the top and make it easier for you to share with the folks you're more likely to share with. And that's something that would be very hard to do as a third-party developer. Yeah. But we can provide that to you as a service, and we think it'll make it easier. And, and then over time, just reduce the friction, make it easier for the install flow to work, all that. And, and if I'm a developer, I can then focus on my domain expertise. Right. Instead of trying to roll an app invite. Yeah, I'll so roll a sign-in. You know, the, the reality is that most developers are coming at something where they say, I can make, I know I have a way, to, a better way of doing this than other people have done. I'm going to build this app that's, you know, it's going to make it easier to organize a block party or, you know, <laughs> yeah. sell these things or whatever. And they shouldn't have to spend a whole bunch of time rewriting things that everybody else has written. And they shouldn't have to spend forever gearing up and signing up and configuring things. They should just be able to say, OK, I need notifications. Boom, it's in. You know, I need this. It's set up for me. Now I spend my time working on the part that's unique to my app. Cool, cool. And so this is wealth of new stuff that you've announced. And there's a whole lot of stuff that we're actually working on. Particularly, like, I mean, we've a lot of iOS stuff that we've announced. And, but you're only just getting started, right? So there's yeah. a... So, uh, you know, like I said, I think you're seeing these as the beginnings of, you know, sanding down the sharp edges, make, you know, taking the things that we've gotten feedback that are hard and making them easier. Uh, but we, we have a lot more in store in the future that, that we think will be great for developers. Cool, cool. Well, thank you so much, Jason. And thank you, everybody. Remember, the new developers.google.com is live. Go and check it out, and you can learn about some of these great technologies that we were talking about. Thank you so much. And thanks again. Yeah.